we have reached the end of the game for the walkthrough. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'll be bringing you some more videos of the documents. Someone asked me if I would actually do all the documents again. Like I did, I did one for part one, but he wanted someone wanted every single one of them in the same the same video, and me, you know, talking about them or putting music to them or something. I can do that, and I will do that. It will take me a little bit of time because I, I'm working on some other projects, but I will get it done. But let's get on to this review. Story. This story for this game is phenomenal. I cannot tell you how much that a story for a horror game means make or break. This game, you, you are miles up sure. You are a freelance journalist slash reporter, and you hear about some stuff going down in this Mount Massive Insane Asylum about the doctors treating the patients poorly, some strange illegal activities going on, so you go to investigate. Upon your arrival, you find out a lot of people have been slaughtered by this guy named Chris Walker, this big looking guy that calls you pig the whole way through. And, and from there you go to find out some other things that have been real sinister. I try to keep my reviews from walking to the dark side of spoiling the game, but it's going to be, it cannot be helped. You've watched my walkthroughs, I, I'm sure, and so you probably know. You go to find out that the doctors there, a certain doctor named Dr. Warnick, is trying to control a demon called the Wall, Wall Rider. And in his fruitless attempts, he causes... The, the wall rider basically goes and just starts killing people. So, in that mishap, you don't know it yet, but once you get so far in the game, you start seeing it, and then at the end of the game, you actually go to stop the, the demon, and from there, the ending is really good. It's a depressing ending. I, that I will not ruin for you. You just have to play the game to find out, or watch my walkthroughs. The, the, the ending is pretty depressing, but it is a very excellent ending. So, as far as story is concerned, I didn't really see any, you know, why, why this happened or how come this. I didn't see any really loops in the story on it. The documents, the notes that you're uh, up sure writes whenever you actually see something on film, really, really good. And it goes along with the story pretty well. So, I give the story a 9 out of 10. I don't usually give 10 out of 10s for any kind of story or anything, really, because... That would have to answer that it's perfect. This is near damn perfect. There's just some things that you got a question is how you know they were able to summon a demon using uh, the technology they were using because they start going into this nanotechnology stuff and it just that doesn't make no sense. So that it's kind of where I drew the line and I just couldn't figure out what they were going with for as far as the nanotechnology and the wall rider. It made not much sense in that point. So that's kind of why I give it a 9 out of 10. But good solid story nonetheless until you're at that point, and that's near right at the end of the game that you really start picking up the whole nanotechnology thing. Alright. On to gameplay. The gameplay is really good. It's real well thought out of. You're... You, you cannot fight. You do not fight in this. You run away, and you get away from your enemies or you die that's it you either get away or you die and it's kind of like amnesia in that aspect but there's a lot more I mean you can you don't really have many places you can hide you can hide in vents you can actually shut a door if a, if a monster or, a per, or you know Chris Walker the, mon, the creepy creature guy or one of the psychopaths that are following you you shut the door because they got to break it through and then you can hide in the locker then they've got to search one or two of the lockers and then they leave that's pretty cool. Or if you're in an area where there's a vent, you can actually jump on the vents and climb in and hide. And then they gotta try to find you. That is really, really cool. I do appreciate that. And and as far as the detail for the game, as far as the for I guess how I wanna put this is the real I wanna give it the realism factor. This could happen minus the wall rider event this could happen and you're not going to go in there with guns and weapons and all this stuff you might try to find something to use as a weapon 
But if you're going in like as a journalist, you know you cannot fight something like Chris, that Chris Walker guy or a psychopath with that has a pipe or something. You're just going to have to run and hide. That That's how the realism plays into the gameplay of this. And I like that. In a horror game, that is key to is realism. There's got to be some kind of, to me, there's got to be some kind of realism factor. And if it plays on that realism factor, like that you are this guy, you're not going to be able to take on a, a psychopath or a monster or a, a, they'll say a, you know, a demon or something like that. You're not going to be able to take them on as a normal person. And that's what this game is. You're playing a normal person, not a knight, not whatever. You're just playing a normal person with a camera that has a light. And you're trying to find out the truth of what's going on here. That is awesome. That is excellent. The controls are good. You can lean from side to side. It's pretty much like amnesia with its gameplay factor, or I mean, with its its mechanics, gameplay mechanics. It's just like amnesia, except you're not going around, you know, collecting tinder boxes and all this. You are collecting batteries for your camera, and they can be kind of scarce sometimes if you're not looking for them. They can be a little scarce, and you've got to really look hard for those batteries. I give gameplay an 8 out of 10. There's not really much to say about gameplay. Why, you know, I'm giving it an 8. There's kind of, you know, when you're actually running, there's actually some jerky moments where your character kind of, uh, the graphics kind of stole a little bit. That could be my laptop doing that. And we'll go into graphics here in just a second. But I have a feeling it's a little bit of the game too. So, I mean, if no one else has actually had to experience that, let me know and I'll try and I'll play with a different system later on when I do get a new computer and I'll see and if it doesn't have that same effect then I'll probably actually bump the score to a 9 because I feel gameplay needs a 9 as well with the, the monsters, the, the atmosphere that the game puts off is extremely creepy. Everything a horror game needs, this game has so far, story and gameplay and atmosphere and that goes along into gameplay. Graphics. This game looks amazing. It's the detail that they've put into this game with the bars, the fence off areas, the the wall textures, the character textures, everything is just amazing. I, I mean box detail, brick detail, everything just looks amazing. And there's not really much to say about graphics. Is there games that really outdo this in a horror and that are indie do they go above graphically above outlast well you could you could say that amnesia machine for pigs goes a little bit above the graphics for outlast by a tad margin if even that i think to me high graphics in both settings uh, you have max range for both games Outlast is going to prevail. It, it looks the better to be the better game, the more detail. Amnesia kind of looks bland, and it's, it's still graphically good, and I do like it. It was still eye-pleasing. But if you see my review for the game for Amnesia Machine of Pigs, you'll see why how I feel about it regardless. Now for sound. Huh. <laughs> The ambience itself, the ambiance, ambience, however you want to call it, fanboys. I know you, I know someone's going to be lurking around going, it's called ambience or ambiance. You're going to get it wrong. I'm like, I'll go both ways and say either one. We will go with that. It's amazing. Holy crap. The whole game, how I played, I had my hairs, I had them set to max. And like every little noise, I kind of shrugged up. I, I got froze up. I was like, oh crap, is it something behind me? I turn around and boom, there's a dude right there behind me. I'm like, oh god. Or the music would start playing. You know something's chasing you. You know you've got to hide. And they play really strongly against your fears. You're in the dark. You've got a camera. You're alone. Any sudden noise is going to scare your character to death. He's going to hear something fall down on the ground. They have that in this game. It will scare the bejesus out of you. I am not playing. This game... As some of the best soundtrack I've ever heard for an indie horror game. And I will say that right now. I will be down right to say it. It has some of the best. 
ambience is just amazing. So I just I have no nothing else to say. So what I'll do is I'll actually let you hear a little bit of a clip. So right here, we'll go ahead and listen to a little bit of it and make up your own decision. Okay, I guess we need to go under here. Hello. Sometimes I wonder if it's a bad idea to just close those doors like that, just for the simple fact you want them getting chased. Ah, battery, good, good. Damn. And I also had my voice in there. I do apologize. It actually carried over in the uh, little bit that I used. So I do apologize for my voice being mixed into that. I bet you could also hear the noises going on in the background beyond my voice because I didn't really say much in those that little bit of action going on but overall to be fair to this game this that little bit right there you play the game by yourself and you just listen to everything going around you with a good headset believe me you will crap yourself all right, with I give sound, I I give it a nine out of ten. Uh, to be honest, it's some of the best soundtrack I've heard in any horror game to date that I've played so far. Mad Father was pretty good. I give it I give it its props, but it's not nearly anything like Outlast. Uh, Amnesia was really good, the first Amnesia, mind you. But I don't I think this actually has it beat, in my opinion. So, with that being said, 9 out of 10 goes for sound. Excellent work to Red Barrels for that. Now, on to innovation. Does this game go above and beyond? Does it do something that no other game has done before? Does it break that, that limit? Does it go past that wall? Well... There are quite a few games that do the whole camera thing. You have games like, oh good lord, I, I have it on the tip of my tongue because <laughs> I'm actually doing this right off the bat. Uh, I cannot remember now. So that's one as it's a PS2 game. Ah, uh, Shutter. I don't know. It will come to me. Or you guys will say, oh, you're such an idiot. Ah, you can't do reviews. Mind you, this is my second review. But with that being said, there is games that do this. Uh, Slender Man is a game that's done this already. Is, you know, Slender Man Arrival did this. But does it go past Slender Man Arrival and other factors? I think so. I think this game actually... It's dark. It's it's gritty. It's extremely versatile in how it does it to jump scares. It don't just keep throwing jump scares at you. It leads you into them. It turn it slows the music or it turns them completely off. Leads you into a false sense of security and then bam, there's a guy right in front of your face. Or it will lead you. You go to a certain room. You grab a certain item like, and then you just know something's gonna happen. Like in the security room on part one or two. As soon as I picked up that key, I did not realize the big guy was going to be walking in on me. That was insane. So what happened is they're leading you into these scares. They're not just throwing them at you randomly like most indie horror games try to do. Gem scares are good, but you know they're kind of innovative about that. They didn't they were trying something new. They wanted to lead you into the jump scares. Not very many horror games do that at all. They don't lead you into it like they should. Silent Hill did, didn't use jump scares, but it led you into a false sense of security and then smacked your dab against monsters. And that's what made Silent Hill really good. Resident Evil took a different approach and threw you against the, uh, like zombies and stuff. So with that being said, innovative? I think so. There's other games that have done the camera, have done similar like Slenderman Arrival, but I think it goes past that 
I have to give it at least an 8 out of 10 for it being very innovative. I am sorry, I cannot speak this morning. So, we're on to our final grading. What is my final thoughts? What 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 would I give this game? What would you spend the full price, or would you want to wait until it went down in price? Buy it at full price. It's worth it. It is worth the money to buy this game. When I got it, I was so mind blown. I was like this. I melted. I cannot believe I paid. I believe it was thirty dollars. Or no, I paid it. I paid when I got it at the time it was fifteen. I think it is twenty. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it might be thirty. I, I can't remember exactly what the price went up to after the sale, the pre the pre release sale. I'll have to check up on that. Or if you you want me to find out, I can check for you. you. Just have to leave it in the comments. Or if you want to leave that in the comments for me, what it is now. It is worth every penny to buy this game. If you're a YouTuber looking for a different game to, you, to do on your YouTube channel, this game is it. This is one of them. This is probably the best of the best indie horror games. This is not supposed to be a AAA title. This is supposed to be an indie game. An indie game, but it doesn't play like one. It plays like a AAA title I went and spent 60 bucks on. That's how this game feels to me. And everything just meshes well together. The story, the characters, the creatures, just everything goes really well. I mean, you got a mad doctor that you cut your fingers off. You've got a big guy that's trying to kill you, a demon that just kills everything he sees. And you've just, and you've got a crazy priest that's trying to get you to lead you to wherever and it's just it's it's a load of fun if if not scary if you don't think it's a scary game it's at least a good fun game to play my final judgment for this game is a 9.0 out of 10 this game I don't know what else to say I don't really have any bad things to say about it I really honestly don't I mean if it had that take away from anything this it's, it's just a little bit of the story that makes sense at the end that's about it and with that being said I, that's not a deal breaker to me that still doesn't really matter it's the it's how they put this game together and how it flows together with its documents it's the rest of the story the gameplay the graphics look really good. This, it sounds good. It scares the crap out of me when I'm in a room by myself and the music stops or the sound starts getting upbeat like something's coming. All those factors play into what make a good horror game. Story is a big one and so is the gameplay. You've got both those down pat and the sound. Not many people care about the graphics. If you can make a really good horror game and you can make it sound like a horror game and you can make it feel like a horror game. This game gets an official Gamer Fusion review of a 9.2 out of 10. You can challenge me on it. A few people have challenged me about Amnesia already. Wow, I graded it so low. That game does not even come close to comparing to this game. I don't know what happened to Amnesia. So, you can watch the review for the Amnesia down below in the description. And I hope you guys find that this review was very informative and that you guys go out and buy Outlast. I would buy this game over the new Amnesia any time of the week. Alright guys, well this is SlayerXTR with GamerFusion.com, Empowering Your Gaming. I'm signing out.